hi everybody welcome back to my channel i just wanted to share how i made <clears throat> these little um bead charms so i got these from a supplier and you can see they're burnt in the middle so I was like, you know, maybe I could do something with them. And I turned them into uh, this. So they look really pretty now. So what I'm using, I'm just going to do a few of them. I'm going to be using some leaf bead tops. If I can find them in here. So this is... What I'm going to use on the bottom of the bead. And then, which these I have in store. And then I'm going to use, um, I have a bunch of different ones here. But there's one specific one that I'm using. And um, this is the one I'm going to use. So. I have some uh, head pins. This is the one with the flat uh, top on it and it's two inches. I'm gonna go ahead and just add the leaf to the bottom. I'm gonna add the bead. And then I'm gonna add the other um, space or bead cap is the bead cap and then that's how it's going to turn out so now so i have my pliers first thing i'm going to use is my round nose pliers and i'm going to um put it all the way to the edge and bend it and then I'm going to see like that. I'm going to uh, make a loop the other way. So I brought it around. You can stop there and just cut right here, and you don't have to do what I'm doing. But I always loop them. So I'm going to um, loop it three times. Or more it doesn't have to be whatever you think it should be but usually it's about three will do and I'm just gonna cut it with my side cutters Let's see now I have to make sure that that is um, so flushed in the, into the rest of the loop so I'm gonna grab my flat nose pliers and Just kind of flatten it in there. And this is how it turned out. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to make one more. And actually, when I put them in the store, they're actually going to have jump rings too. Um, I have some jump rings here. Let me go ahead and put one on there. So this is a six millimeter jump ring and I'm just going to use my flat nose pliers to open them up and like I said if you don't have another set of flat nose pliers um, you can just use them if the wire is thin enough but this one's um, pretty sturdy so I'm just going to use two set flat nose pliers and I'm just going to add them on there. And then close it back up. So there's that. I'm going to make one more so you can see. 
so there's a head pin, a leaf bead cap, I'm going to grab a bead, and then top of the bead, the bead cap. So now I'm going to use my round nose pliers and just bend the wire back one, once like that. And then I'm going to uh, make a loop. And then go around it because I'm just doing a, I'm wire wrapping it like that. So here's that and I have to make sure I push that in. And there it is. Turned out really nice. The more you practice, the better you get at this. So I'm going to add the jump ring like I did to the other one. Might as well go ahead and show you um, how I package these two. So I'm gonna close the jump ring. I'm gonna add two more because the pack is gonna be, um, the beads are in four in a pack, so. I'm going to add the jump rings to it and then I'm just going to show you how I'm packaging them. Okay, so I'm going to put these four in a pack. And what I'm going to do is, this, these bags are kind of big, but I can't find the other ones. This is a 3 by 5 I'm going to put my um, card. Uh, so these are too big, but just, for, just to show you how I package my stuff, I'm just going to use it. I'm going to go ahead and add um, the beads. So they'll be in there like that. And then I'm just going to um, It over. I have to figure something out. These bags aren't going to be the one, but this is how it would go out. So, I hope you found this useful. And um, if you're interested in these beads, they'll be in the shop because they're super cute now. So, thank you so much, and I'll see you later. Bye.